In this video, we're having a look at Snapchat and we're gonna do a deep dive into the fundamentals and see if there is any underlying value in the company and what the potential price points are going forward. Let's jump in. So one of the very first things we wanna have a look at on the Snapchat stock is the market cap. And we can see here, currently sitting with a market cap of 94 billion see the share price at inception 2270 currently trading at 63 bucks p ratio of 93.7 we can see this negative profit margin which is a big area of concern negative 32 percent and if we come down here we see they do have positive equity at 2.3 billion however free cash flow in the red and that's a big area of concern so negative 94 million in the red on free cash flow and of course no dividend on the stock so we can take out the dividend cost then if we come in here and zoom into the actual chart a couple of things i've just highlighted for you and i want to show you first this key resistance line over here which has been broken over here general upward trend and again hitting another resistance line and moving in another upward trend peaking out at about 65 bucks and if we come across here and have a look we can see currently trading 63 bucks and this has been very much bouncing around in this area over here so still well above that resistance line and there is a strong indication on the charts that the stock is still in an upward momentum now if we come to the most important thing which is having a look at the key financial data, the actual metrics that we look at when we take a look at stocks and value them. The first thing we look at is number of shares outstanding. Now this is a big one for us. We typically like to see number of shares outstanding going down slightly. We can see however, there has been an increase over here. Number of shares outstanding gone up over the last three years. Have a look at assets, so big jump in assets. They've gone from 2.7 billion on the three year mark to five billion. So strong, strong growth on assets, but then we also have to take into account the liabilities. They've gone from 403 million to 2.6 billion in three years. So big jump on liabilities and of course, the concerning thing here is equity. Equity has sort of moved very, very laterally over the last three years. They've had a moderate, moderate increase, but pretty much the same place they were three years ago on equity. Then we're taking a look at total revenue. We can see revenue here, healthy growth, 1.8 billion to 2.8 billion. So strong, strong growth on revenue. Gross profit has shown massive improvement, 381 to 1.4 billion. And that is a huge, huge sign that things are going right there. And then we come across and we have a look at operating income. Operating income, a little bit of a concern that it has constantly been in the red. Moving in the right direction though, so very typical of a tech stock that's building growth and momentum. And then we can see here, a little bit of a sideways movement in the last trailing 12 months. But generally speaking, all good heading in the right direction. Then we look at net income from continued operations. Again, these are all red numbers, so very concerning in terms of the fact that there is growth, but still very much in the red. And again, I make the point that, you know, a company like Snapchat is obviously having to find their revenue models, they're having to find their value per user, and it takes time to unlock, especially in these sort of tech stocks. So this is not very um, unlike traditional stocks in the space, in the tech space. Then have a look at operating cash flow. We can see here also big improvements. Negative 689 million to negative 37 million. Huge improvement, but we have to point out again, still in the red. And then have a look at free cash flow growth. Free cash flow growth, big improvement of the three year mark. Almost, almost heading into the billion dollar red mark and then pulling back here to just under 100 million. So definitely a lot of good momentum for the stock overall. So as always, we like to hold these stocks up against our 12 point checklist and see exactly where they come out in terms of the value proposition. So on the 12 point checklist, this is where we at. Has the share price doubled since inception? And indeed it has. Is the PE ratio below 25? Unfortunately not. Is the profit margin greater than 10%? Unfortunately not. So in those areas, they have to get marked down. But when we come to assets, they are getting a check mark there because they have positive equity. And then purely on the basis that don't pay a dividend, their dividend cost is less than free cash flow growth, so they score there. Number of shares outstanding has not been going down consistently for the last three years. However, total revenue and gross profit, both of these are up year on year for the last three years. And then if it comes to operating income, unfortunately just the last trailing 12 months, so we have to mark them down there. And then have a look at net income from continued operations. 
cash from operating activities and free cash for growth. All of these key metrics heading in the right, area, uh, right direction, excuse me. But like I said, we have to keep in mind that these numbers over here are still very much in the red. So that's an area you definitely have to keep our eyes on. But looking at these numbers, there's a strong possibility that the stock could potentially be pulling themselves right over the next 12 months. Now, if we come down to the buy sell scores, this is where we're at. We have a 66% buy score and we have a 33% sell score. So a strong indication on the fundamentals that this is potentially a good stock to hold. If we're having a look at the industry projected price from analysts, they're looking at about 80 bucks. I actually think based on the off book factors that I've been looking at, that this might just be a little bit um, undervalued. I think potentially 8250 is a good price point to head for. And if this indeed is the case and we do that in the next 12 months, we're looking at 18 bucks per share gain. And in real margin terms, that would be just shy of 30% true margin gain. Now, this is where we have to lean into the off book factors. A couple of key things I want to point out, and I think these are going to be big drivers. As I've mentioned previously in another review that I did, these are going to be the things that are really going to drive and unlock the value long term. So off book factors, first thing I want to talk about is that basically Snap now has 281 million daily active users. And this is reported in the first uh, quarter's on earnings report of this year. And that's basically 16 million new users from the prior quarter. So in the space of one quarter, they've managed to pull that number up by 16 million users. And I think that's pretty significant. That shows there's definite momentum behind what they're doing. Then the second thing is revenue. Revenue has jumped by 66% from a year ago this time. That is 770 million, topping the estimates of 743. So they were quite a bit over their target. And Snap chat is actually notoriously conservative on their forecasts so that's something else i really like about the stock and then it's uh, pretty much a continuous momentum uh, factor that we're seeing here when we look at the net user growth which is up 22 percent from the last quarter so just in the quarters reporting we're seeing the kind of growth that most companies would like to see annually so personally i think this is a great stock i think long term this is a good hold there are a couple of risk areas i cannot overlook these risk areas obviously for me this free cash flow growth and operating cash flow and net income from continued operations these are going to be the factors that i'm going to keep a very close eye on so snapchat is definitely in my portfolio it's going to continue to be in my portfolio but as i said I'm going to be keeping a strong eye on these numbers here in the next reporting session. If I do see any movement backwards, then potentially I would start looking at an exit strategy. However, for now, I think it is a really, really great stock and I think they have huge potential long term. And the great thing is something I didn't mention in the off book factors is that they've actually got more revenue per user than Facebook. And that is a huge huge factor in the space that they're playing in. So I'd be very interested to know what are your thoughts, what are your comments, uh, are you currently invested, do you currently hold the stock, what was your entry point and do you have a planned exit point and how long do you intend on holding the stock for? If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the like button, your votes help us get these videos out. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. We release videos like this every single day. And if you would like to access this very specific stock sheet that I have presented here today, you can download it absolutely free of charge off our website. Link is supplied in the description below. And if you did enjoy this video, please share it with your friends and family. Help us grow the channel. We really want to get our channel out there and we will help as many people as possible make informed decisions when it comes to investing and managing their money.